Do we actually have Sunray? No, we already used that today. Ready and hmm. able. How to deal with those damn mods. Ooh, maybe Hold Monster could work. Ooh, but they have magic resistance. Maybe we can use... Oh no, Greater Malice and reduces saves. It doesn't reduce magic resistance. I haven't resistance. been this pleased with careful. a group of folks I'm since sure the Cormirians set the traps, price so of turnips the through the roof during the Onion Famine. Oh, how do we approach this issue? Um, maybe we can... I don't know, Bolts of Lightning? That might help. Really powerful magical arrows, perhaps, of acid? Maybe those will help. Um, yeah, just wail away with your sword, your dagger, your big sword. Ooh, hey, maybe these sunstone bullets. I mean, <laughs> shadow warriors are tough, why not? Okay, since magic isn't going to work, I guess that'll be our solution. Oh, maybe we can use strength to boost mm, Yoshimo's strength. You require my counsel, yes? Don't teach my counsel Hi. to suck eggs! Okay. Coordinated effort, everybody. That one. Something amiss. Get him. Careful, Minsk. Green potions. Alright, we got one. That's good. Not for the other. There we go. I wouldn't dream of it. That wasn't too terrible. The well, Minsk will need a heal spell. The usual complement of a magical two-handed swords. Seem to be having a collection of them now. And a uh, summon Nishru. Ooh, this is a neat spell. Summon the Nishru. First glance appears to be a mist. Turns out to be a boiling, churning red mass of vapors and shapes with a life of its own. Drawn towards magic like a moth of flame, the Nishru feed on the energy surrounding and used by wizards. Luckily, they are loyal to the summoner. They have no physical attacks. However, they can be hurt by physical attacks. Each time they touch a target wizard, it wraps its tendrils around them. There are two major effects. All magical items with charges the target possesses will be drained by one charge, destroying them if only one remains. Second, it causes the wizard to lose one memorized spell, chosen at random from the highest level possible. Completely immune to magic, except for the death spell, which gets rid of summoned creatures. But magic will actually heal this creature. Wow. Nasty. Wizard Bane, that's what that is. Alright, we'll put that in the valuable spells folder. Oh, we found some magic bullets. I hadn't noticed that. Oh, and a scroll, actually. Oh, yes, because we didn't go through the stuff he had found earlier. Um, hmm. I think these are just mundane bullets. Yeah. Maybe... I have no idea who could... Yeah, on the ground. Probably not even useful. Wyvern Call. Level 6. Spell is cast. The wizard opens up a magical channel that will summon a wyvern. Creature will be under the mental control. Oh, that's a neat spell. We'll definitely save that. Um, hmm, yes, and there's these other rituals, Noontide Ritual, from that statue earlier. I know, my children, that when the sun displays the marvel of my work and rides high in the firmament above, I must offer the Noontide Ritual. Let the voices sound the glorious song of the Lord. The second part is obscured. Rejoice on the glory of the light as it reigns over the dark. These are the things that please me. He also found a book, the Tomb of Amunator. Blessed be the light of Amunator. The Temple of Amunator shines like a beacon of radiance in the hills of Umar. Amunator wards us from the shadows of evil. Pilgrims come from areas far off to be blessed by the beauty of Amunator. Amunator is endless and without equal. Yet our God serves us well, in that he is constantly on vigil against shadows. The Temple serves a further purpose towards this end. Amunator keeps the casters of shadows from walking the land. Any and all who dare as taste of shadow magic should know that Amunator and his holy servants will seek them out and cast them into chains within the temple. 
Lightstone, dawn's light, and sun rays are holy symbols, guides in any spiritual journey that the uh, disciple of a monitor may embark upon. Blessed be the light of a monitor. Hmm. Just name what you want. So we got a little religious lesson. That's nice. As you approach the letter tiled floor, a voice intones. Only the name of the master shall keep thee from the power of the darkness. Well, I got a pretty good idea as to what the name of the master is. Uh, I think it's going to be Yoshimo's job to find out, though. Yeah, uh, him and Carrot will obviously work out that the password is probably a monitor. Let's just hope we spell it right. A M A. I should detect traps. I think it's U N. A M A U N. Oh wait, is it A or U with this? A mon. Uh, I think it's A again. Yep. Tor. Hey, he did it! All right. What's over here? What is this? A statue depicts a woman whose eyes blaze with light. She appears to be waiting for something to be placed in her arms. And she also has some nice stuff in her arms, too, which he will take. Yoink! Aw, oh, crap, he can't take all of it. Alright, maybe with Minsk he can Jump chuck it across the... You can, I won't be as gentle. He can chuck what he found across the room. Eh. Alright. More sunstone bullets. Handy. And a sling plus three. Arla's Dragonbane. None know better than halflings the value of a well-placed stone when confronting a larger foe. This particular weapon was the property of a young woman named Arla Surestep, one of the few small folk that leave the hearth to seek adventure. Legends speak of the diminutive Arla using the sling to place a well-sharpened pebble through the skull of a drained dragon in mid-flight, although the same tale in another tavern places the stone squarely in the creature's hindquarters for more humorous than lethal effect. It would seem that halflings prefer entertainment over accuracy when it comes to their history. Plus three sling. Definitely better than what he's got. Very nice. Does anyone else actually use slings here? I don't think so. No. Uh, and I think Jahir actually has a plus two sling that increases her strength. Yeah, sling of seeking. So this is a bit redundant. I guess it'll just go in the bag. Okay. Good. Uh, as for other stuff he found, he found the Dusk Ritual. And when the sun at last moves on, the foul darkness engulfs the land, thou must offer this ritual to please my eyes and ears. Recite the tenets of the faith, hold higher children that they may longer see the sun. And the third part is obscured. We'll have to work it all out. And a protection from magic weapons scroll. A level 6 abjuration. When the spell is cast, it confers complete invulnerability to all magical weapons. <laughs> Sorry, fighters. This includes weapons that are blessed or enchanted. Attacks of powerful monsters are also considered magical weapons. A spell cannot be cast on anyone who is protected from normal weapons, as well as anyone protected by mantle, improved mantle, or absolute immunity. Due to the nature of the spell, uh, with the short speed factor and duration, is mainly used to buy the wizard a few rounds in the thick of combat. This effect lasts for the duration or until the spell. It lasts for only four rounds, but it only takes you. Uh, one combat iteration to cast. Handy dandy. And another spell that Carrot can't use that would be incredibly valuable. Alright, uh, Yoshimo. Uh, keep searching, please. Nothing dangerous, I would hope. Also finds. Oh, another sun gem. And a disintegrate scroll. Nice choice. Ah, this reminds me of the turnips. Chucking that back. Except Uncle Gerhardt is yeah, keeping this, I guess. Turnip still in the corner. Centigrade alteration. Ah, just up Carrot's alley. On casting this spell, and another creature, a thin gray of green ray of light is shot out. On contact, the creature must make a saving throw versus spells or be transformed into dust. This transformation is instantaneous and irreversible. Also, a good chance this will destroy some, if not all, of the items that the creature is carrying. It's a uh, serious business, to say the least. I can dance on the head of a... All the world is blind to my passing. Here's a door. All the world is blind to my passing. Oh, there's a shadow in here. Hmm. Just get ready to destroy it. Please, I must speak to your leader. Uh, what is this? Shadow who wants to talk, huh? 
Of All right. course. Yoshima will come back and relate that to Kirid, who will come over cautiously and uh, see what it wants. Where shall I bleed a foot and all that? I wouldn't dream With of With Yoshimo refusing. there to guard him. Oh, yes. If Whatever you need, I do it Just well. Just as I thought. So this thing? Hiya! Onward, <laughs> then. The tourists love that stuff. Merciful beings of light, I offer you a simple exchange. Information on what you seek in exchange for my freedom. Why should we trust this shadow? I was a minion of the Shade Lord. You seek to destroy him, do you not? I can help you do it, if you only free me from this place. Well, this is pretty simple. We can either say yes or no. Hmm. Um, <laughs> would Kara trust the Shadow? Considering that they've been through this dungeon or are being constantly attacked by Shadows, Shadows are apparently undead of limited intelligence and are quite wrathful. Hmm. You know what? I think not. Then drink of eternal darkness, fool. Yeah, I figured it was a trap. Kira gets a whack in. But Yoshimo's Daystar works much better. Come on, Kira, you can hit it. Come on. Yeah, Yoshimo finishes it off. I can dance on the head of a bin as well. Ah, and there seems to be a hidden compartment in this room. Ah, another lightstone symbol. Very nice. How many of those do we have now? Mazzy has one, Yoshimo has one. I think we're still I missing another one. Hmm. To the task at I wonder where the third one is. Okay. Yoshimo is get back across. Carefully, carefully. Whoop. Okay. As you will. Yay for spelling puzzles. Wee. Of course. Yeah, we weren't gonna trust the shadow. No damn way. Hmm. Now, please come on. Pretty please. This goes to another shadow door. Which we can use on our sunstone gems to get through. And this goes to another door, which is locked. You will need to attain the symbol of a monitor to open this door. The inscription on the door says that the symbol has been broken into three parts uh -huh, so that the darkness will never escape the prison. Okay, well, it looks like we are going to be obliged to go back and, uh, yeah, figure that out. Uh, let's see, Mazzy, she should have that piece. And these are the rituals. I guess kind of this is her mission. I'll give those to her. Alright, can we open this door yet? No. Looks like we're gonna have to go around. A little unfortunate, I gotta say, but hmm. We don't seem to have anything to get through it. Uh, which means we gotta do this again. Oh, is there any fast way to do Live this? by the sword. Live a good long time. Run, run, run. Okay, apparently people can get across you by only being lightly more? singed. Go, 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 go. You stand or not at all. Justice. You're right behind me, right? Like Jahira. Wow, apparently people can get across I this way forth. without issue. Okay, maybe sometime you get singed a little bit. You know, bit. this reminds me of that time way back. I wouldn't dream of refusing. Carrot will probably get burned. <laughs> yes. Whatever that's, I can do to help. That's just how it works with him. All right, everybody, up this way. Apparently, we have to answer uh, some rituals. Oh dear. Care of that. Oh, 
that little ambush. Just name what you want. Okay, here we are. Very well. So let's save our progress and let's review these rituals. All right, if the dust ritual is recite the tenets of faith and hold your children high, noontide would be let the voices hear the glorious songs, rejoice on the glory of the light. Um, so what would the second the second step in this was hold the holy tome up to the sun so that my power shall bless it, and hold high your children. So it probably f involves holding high something. So the second step is that. All right. In terms of the first step, for the, it's a well, we're going to do it one at a time probably. So let's focus on the morning ritual. All right. So second step is hold the holy tome up. Third step is reflect as thou perceive the victory. All right. So the first steps and the others are let the voices sound the glorious songs of the Lord, and recite the tenets of faith. Hmm. Okay. All involves speaking somehow. All right. Well, Mazzy. At your command. Do your best. Child of the sun, so you take the test of the holy ritual. You must prove your conviction before the sun lord shall offer up his symbol. I am prepared to take the test. It is well. Prove your faith and be blessed. It is dawn, O seeker of light. What is thy first duty? I think uh, I shall recite the tenets of faith. That is incorrect! Mock not the ritual! Ignorance is thy companion! Ouch! It hits her with flame strike. Yikes! Okay, apparently we were incorrect. Alright, so maybe it's a trial by elimination, and it's not what you do at other parts. So, if you recite the tenets of faith at one time, and let the voices sound the glorious songs, so don't sing songs, don't recite the tenet of faith. Uh, yeah, let's try again. Uh, so don't recite the tenets of faith, don't sing a hymn, say a prayer.